Hi, I'm going to use Newton's second and third laws to calculate the acceleration as well as some of the forces involved in this physical situation. We have a person pushing with a force of 150 newtons to the right. Um, they have a, the person has a mass of 80 kilograms. Uh, the block has a mass of 50 kilograms. So uh, the assumption we're going to make here is that the block doesn't have any friction between it and the ground. We want to keep this uh, problem at least somewhat simple. And then, uh, but we are going to assume that the person has friction between their feet and the ground. Okay. So with uh, this in mind, I want you, you to pause the video and see if you can draw a free body diagram for the block and then also draw a free body diagram for the person um, using appropriate notation. All right, so let's start with the block. The block has a weight force exerted upon it by the earth, just like everything else on or near the surface of the earth. Weight force exerted by the earth on the block, and the ground gets in the way, prevents the block from plummeting towards the center of the earth. So a normal force from the ground on the block. And then we have the person pushing to the right. I deliberately didn't label this force because I wanted you to have to think about this. What type of force does the, does the person exert? Okay. Um, it's a pushing force. Pushing forces are typically normal forces. It's a force exerted perpendicular to this vertical surface of that block. So it would be normal force from the person on the block. Okay. So that's it, uh, if there's no friction between the, the block and the ground. So let's uh, draw a free body diagram for the person. So person is pulled by the earth, weight force due to the earth on the person. And then just like with the block, we have a normal force from the ground. And then um, where Newton's third law comes into play, is that if the person pushes the block to the right with 150 newtons of force, the block pushes back to the left. So uh, we would draw that right here. It is a normal force from the block on the person. So um, keep in, there's several important characteristics here. They are the same type. They're both normal forces. Uh, we have switched the subscripts around. Person on block, block on person and I've reversed the direction, and I've drawn the vectors about the same length to show that they're uh, about the same strength. Okay, and another thing we can do is connect them with a dotted line in order to show that they are uh, an action-reaction pair. So you might include something like that in your diagram. Okay, we're not done. Um, if this was complete, then the person would slide to the left, and this would be the physical situation if you tried to uh, push a block on frictionless ice or something like that. Um, but we're assuming that the, the, there's friction between the person's feet and the ground. And so that's what's going to give them a net force forward and allow them to accelerate to the right along with the block. So uh, we have um, its friction. And it's actually, even though the person is moving, it's more than likely going to be static friction. So um, it, as long as the person's feet aren't slipping, the, um, the, their feet are making contact with the ground and the molecules within the, um, within the shoes are making strong bonds with the, uh, with the, with the ground. So uh, static friction between exerted by the ground on the person. And I'm showing that one bigger than this one because the person's going to accelerate with the block as they, as they push it. Okay, so uh, now let's do some uh, numeric calculations. I'm just going to focus on the horizontal forces here. I'm going to calculate all the horizontal forces, and I'm also going to calculate uh, the acceleration. Okay. So for the block, I would use um, just, again, we're just looking at the forces in the x direction. So total force in the x direction equals ma. And so I take my free body diagram for the block. I look at which forces have x components, and I put it on the left-hand side. So it's, this one's pretty easy. The normal and the weight are on the y-axis. They have no x component, so it's just this normal force here that belongs on the left-hand side. So normal force from the person on the block equals m, and I should put a subscript here 
mass of the block times its acceleration. Okay, this is one equation with one un unknown. We know the normal force from the person is 150 newtons. I gave you the mass of the block is 50 kilograms, so you can maybe even do this one in your head. Uh, calculate the acceleration by taking the normal force and dividing by the mass of the block. Okay, so normal force from the person, 150 newtons, divide by 50, and then I get an answer of 3 meters per second squared. Okay, so uh, again, what, so there is stuff happening in the y direction, but I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, uh, so let's look at the x direction for the, uh, for the person. So, um, for the person, and I'm going to calculate, I'm going to determine all of these forces. And in fact, I don't have to do any uh, math here. I can just simply assert that the normal force by the block on the person is 150 newtons. So, normal force of the person on the block, 150 newtons. Um, we can just assert normal force of block on person by Newton's third law is 150 newtons. Okay. And so then I just want to uh, somehow determine the static friction. We'll do that by looking at the forces in the x direction. Okay, Newton's second law once again. And then I look for forces that have x components. So static friction to the right. I'm going to drop some of the subscripts there. And then normal force to the left, which I just asserted was 150 newtons. And then again, I should probably be careful there with subscripts for the mass. Okay, and so I just need to solve for the static friction. I just need to add the uh, normal force to both sides. And then I've got my symbolic solution. Oops. Okay, and then we can throw in the numbers. So the static friction will be normal force of 150 newtons plus mass of the person, which is 80 times the acceleration, which we're assuming is the same as the block if the person's moving uh, together. And then uh, throw this in your calculator or maybe do it in your head. Uh, we get a force of 390 newtons. Okay, so I use Newton's second law and third law to calculate some forces um, in um, as, as well as the acceleration of this, of this system. Okay, um, thanks for watching.